Hey, what's going on guys? The Heart Pirates TCG here, and I'm bringing you a uh, Law first place deck list. I actually got the, the dub last night at Locals, and I pulled a, uh, a winner Bonnie, which is great, because, you know, I literally am playing the deck now. Uh, I'll explain uh, my choices as to what I'm playing, and uh, if I change anything, as always, so uh, make sure to, you know, leave a like if you like this video. So, to start off... <clears throat> I just hit my face on the uh, on the mic stand right there. We have four Bonnie, obviously. I'm going to play cards that these cards are searching. Like, I'm going to split it up based on, you know, archetype, essentially. Uh, Bonnie's a searcher. No reason to stop or to talk about Bonnie. Then we have four Beige. I might cut one of these. I mean, he's been good, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I need to put uh, something else in this deck to prepare for the regionals, and I'll explain that later. Uh, then I'm only playing three of the block, or of the Restand Law. Um, I think this card's great. Honestly, I didn't see this card enough, so maybe I might make this four. But, I mean, for the most part, when I, when I got it, it was great. But sometimes, like, I was really wanting it, and I just I wasn't able to search for it, uh, which really sucked. Uh, and then, obviously, playing four uh law and the one of hawkins that's for the supernova engine guys hawkins uh i, I put hawkins in for the mirror obviously and then uh, he's really good in the katakuri and then he's pretty decent into zoro i want to say because i mean he's i mean you're just going to kill one of the things for free but if you want to combat a marco like make them discard two events basically for free um that's what you do maybe even three if you uh play hawkins and then another restand law he's just really good for pushing for game so um those are the supernovas right there and then for the Straw Hats, I am playing the Straw Hat version. I wasn't before, but now I am for Nami. Uh, Nami Nami's just insane, guys. Like, it, like I, I cut it before because I just felt like she wasn't... She just like kept bottom decking my laws, but like I was just searching at the wrong times. And, that, and that's something you have to learn if you play Law a lot. Because uh, Nami can search Chopper who is just so good and then brooke who is basically the engine of a lot of your plays like especially like turn two if you're going like first um you just play brooke and then swing seven and then like play like i don't know like a chopper or dadon or not dadon uh you know beige or something like that but when you're going for game two like you put a, bo a body on the field and then pump up one of your supernovas uh so it's basically like you have all of the dawn allocated to the supernova um which is great uh for restand law and i'm playing two robin robin honestly i played against uh two yellow today or i or i'm sorry the uh the tournament that i won i played against a smoker uh i played against a black yellow big mom and two katakuris and this wasn't good in any of those matchups but i know in the regional that's going to be really good so i have to play robin at two maybe even three um and then i'm playing one uh rush or uh st starter deck zoro um, it's just a very efficient card like a lot of the times like you know people will pick them up sometimes I'll leave them tap because like them f like trying to go after a 6k is better than them trying to go after a 5k and they have to like allocate way more dawn to, to take this out um, and that that's honestly what I prefer rather than going for life sometimes so uh, Zoro's good <laughs> and then I, I, I uh, borrowed these cards but I'm picking them up today this is two rush Zoro these two cards right here I borrowed it from my friend Alessandro shout out to my homie right there uh, I'm picking up two today. Um, I just I, for, I had four of them. I don't know what the hell happened to them. So uh, same with the Hawkins. I had to borrow one of my Hawkins from my brother. But yeah, that's I'm picking those up today. But those are two Rush Zoros, and then uh, we got two Film Brook. Uh, Brook is great because he's just a great like. Sometimes you just don't have enough like low cost green cards that you can play. Like obviously you have the Bonnie and then the the Beige. But like I don't want to play Bonnie a lot of times. Like and just pass because they're going to like pop Bonnie or like bouncer, you know, do something weird to it. Um, kill it. Who knows? So like having a green card that can like give you advantage other than Bonnie is great because Brooke can play. Obviously it can play uh, all of the straw hats, right? It can play. Um, it's just really good because like on turn two, if you go second, you play Brooke and then you can like play like starter deck Zoro or like Robin. And that's just like such a huge, huge, huge play. Uh, a lot of times if I already set up a board, um, he's just a 1k counter. I never really use him for, for much. Um, and then the last card, I'm playing one Rush Luffy. Uh, this is just great for like if they have like Borsalino and like they think they're untouchable. Um, they have one life left with, I don't know, three cards in hand. You go Luffy, put all your Dawn on him, swing, uh, take their last life restand law and then swing again so um borsalino fukuro doesn't matter i'm gonna get through it and kill you so uh luffy's good um i don't think i played him i think i played him one time throughout the whole tournament um he doesn't come up a lot but when he comes up he's great so uh, those are the straw hats right there boom 
And last engine I'm gonna talk about is obviously the Dadon engine. The Dadon needs to be banned. This card is just too good. Um, there, is, there is a play in round two where um, I was kind of losing advantage because uh, he triggered into like uh, like Shockwave and Thunderbolt and you know he Sakazuki'd my law and like my, I was just getting like all my board popped and I literally with like eight Dawn I had this like a I don't know like a, a brook and then nothing else on my field and I hard play law or I'm sorry I had something else on my field and I hard play law to pick up the, the Dadon play the Dadon again search for Nami Nami or I play Nami search for a 2k counter with Brooke and then I'm able to shambles into another like I think it's either a law or like a Hawkins or something like that and like I thought I was dead in the water and then what like this to Don search me another card which searched me another card which allowed me to shambles like it was just so good like it, it was just ridiculous and we, and we talked about it after the game we were like man like that like that turn right there was like i knew i was gonna lose this is what he said he was like you just like uh, you just got so much advantage from just like that one like play and it, it was just wild and of course Dadon can search for Makano. Makano is not as good in this one because i'm not playing sunny coons or anything like that but uh Makano, basically just pumps up uh nami or sometimes if i want to swing with uh sometimes i might pump up chopper and then swing too um i've even pumped up like otama and stuff like that so uh, makano uh, she sometimes you don't need her and she's a 2k sometimes you really need her and you just take the life so it just depends on how you're going to play the game and then we have four otama which is another engine from dadon Guys, Dada, I, I think Otama might be one of the best cards in this deck for real. Because, like, what I was doing against uh, both the uh, Smoker player and the Black Yellow Big Mom player was like they would just play Borsalino and be like, I have a wall, like, you can't do 5Ks anymore. And then I just like play Otama, make their Borsalino a four, and just swing 5 5 5 5 5. And like, they're either gonna have to like take the hit, like, you're, they're, you're gonna have to kill Borsalino or, um, just like keep discarding cards out of their hand like and, and then and then i would just shambles it back and then play like a, a a starter deck zora or something like that like it was just like being able to re like recycle this is so good and especially in mirror matches is really good too um and then the last card this card is not searchable it's the only non-searchable card in the deck and it's double vista um i might play another one um I don't know it, it's it's just hard because like i want to try out different builds because fire fist just really hurt zoro or not zoro uh law and I just don't want to lose to like my opponent like I was playing on the sim last night and I actually got a little salty because it's like I, I just the simulator it just feels like you don't have like val like the RNG is just not right on the sim because like every time I play on the sim my, my opponent draws like double fire fist Marco and Vista and then like I just I literally just can't even play the game um you know or like my uh oh actually on the sim the other day or last night my opponent was playing katakuri and uh he triggered shirahoshi and it triggered twice so he drew six and discarded two so it was like i was like bro like how is that <laughs> how is that fair but um yeah that that's that's the deck list guys i i probably would change a couple things maybe add a vista maybe add a robin um to make nami a little bit more searchable and if i do add robin i might take out like I don't know, maybe like, maybe one Makano, maybe a uh, starter deck or a film brook. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I take out. Maybe a beige. It's just so the deck list is so tight because you play like like 40 staples essentially, and then there's like 10 cards that you kind kind of filter in and out but you have to make sure that your searches are consistent for the deck to be good. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.